boarding school policy was far-reaching and devastating as any, maybe more than any, because of the complete and utter destruction of the culture. They couldn't stop it from happening. So they would take them from further away and make it harder for them children to leave and go home. It was my first haircut. I cried when I saw my hair on the floor. Tears still well up in, in my eyes when I remember the way it laid on the floor. Without my Navajo language, I was broken and unable to celebrate my heritage, to express myself. Taking my identity from me made me very powerless. I managed to learn uh, how to stuff all the uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The loneliness that came because I was could not talk to my mother or my father. And we were not comforted by the boarding school matrons or teachers. The pain and the loneliness and the, and the anger. will always be with me. We are dealing with the erasure of our people. There, this government has been working on destroying tribal societies and institutions for 500 years. Um, I, I work with youth on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation quite often and so many of them tell me that they walk around with like a heavy load on their shoulders. They feel heavy all the time. And I truly believe that what that is, is they're, they're carrying the traumas of their ancestors and they're carrying the traumas of their, their parents and their grandparents. Um, and then they have to carry their own traumas. It's like our our great beautiful blanket kind of got all chopped into pieces during that boarding school time or that time when we were trying to assimilate. And we have a lot of the pieces left and now we're trying to put them all back together. And we're, we're putting them all back together, but it's probably never gonna look exactly like our blanket was before. So, but it will still keep us warm. It'll still help us. It will still sustain us. And it hurts to know that I can't give them the things that my parents could have given me if not for boarding school. Only by bringing it into the light can we begin to heal from it. And that's the first step that we're moving for. If our tribal cultures are going to stay alive other than existing as pockets of poverty and sadness, uh, we have to heal. And telling the story and then help finding resources to turn things around, uh, that's what the, the coalition wants to do. The uh, eventual outcomes we would hope uh, would come out of the boarding school healing project would be uh, uh, healing programs that are put together by our own Indian people and their own Indian communities. We're changing the paradigm of education each day uh, 
We're saving the language one child at a time. How do you preserve a language? You create a speaker. This healing is not just happening on the native side. It's not just for us that needs to heal over this history. It's also um, the non-native community that's really struggling with this healing. Much more important that we share with our children, that we tell them stories. It's not a very easy thing to, to do, but be strong. People my age need to be strong and just think about where we've been and teach it to our children. Thank you.